When designing monsters for Half-Life 2, especially those for Ravenholm, Ted Backman preferred to create creatures that were more gross and disgusting in their appearance rather than threatening. Threatening features are commonly used in many games. However, he didn't find that approach to be terribly effective, and discovered that creatures who were revolting elicited a better response. Many ideas that were scrapped for Half-Life 1 found new life in Half-Life 2. One of those concepts was an enemy whose attack never killed the player, but always instantly dropped their health down to one point. This changed the gameplay dynamics and makes other creatures in the area a more immediate threat, and therefore makes this health dropper a high priority to the player when other enemies are present. The Black Head Crab was born. Its distinctive sound and tendency to hide causes the players to frantically search the room whenever they hear a rattle. When designing a game, it is best to have a continuous cycle of designing and playtesting. Constantly iterating upon current designs by considering feedback is important as it allows for the game to be tailored to the player's needs. Something that was discovered through this process was that players didn't like leading zombies to Grigori's traps as much as they liked bringing the traps to the zombies. This brought about the creation of the saw blades and explosive barrels strewn across the town, allowing players to set up traps of their own for maximum zombie carnage. The fast zombie wasn't originally a zombie at all, but an alien assassin that was designed for a section of the game that was later cut. Not wanting to abandon its AI, they moved it from location to location, trying to find the proper habitat for its gameplay. Eventually it found a home in Ravenholm, and the creature's visual design was created to fit the atmosphere and the existing AI. Most of Half-Life 2's enemies were not designed in this fashion, which makes the fast zombie terrifyingly unique. Half-Life 2 is a sound library of impressive size, with thousands of different sounds. Some were based on existing sound libraries, while others were from original recordings, or were electronically generated using synthesizers. Kelly Bailey, Half-Life 2's main sound guy, would often mix, chop up, and manipulate the raw sounds to create unique effects and vocalizations. Hunting calls were often used, including the sounds of elk, coyotes, deer, rabbits, geese, and ducks. This results in sounds that are familiar, but shockingly off at the same time. The Combine Soldier, one of the most prevalent enemies in the game, went through many design changes. Early designs were very alien, and some concepts displayed the soldiers as worm-like creatures of the Combine race. It was later decided that the race itself should be invisible, plotting in the background, and that modified humans would instead fight for the Combine cause on Earth. 